Hey guys, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com again, and I wanted to sort of come back and finish up a video that I horribly have left neglected. Uh, earlier this week, Aaron Powder, and if you don't know him, his his handle on YouTube is DCT Teacher One. You should go over there and check out his channel and subscribe. He puts out a lot of cool content. Um, reminded me that he was running into this problem, and he went to my channel first to look for the problem and um, the answer to the problem. And first, he found the solution and how to create the patches, but then when it came time to find out how to use the patches, I didn't create the second part of that video. So I thought I would do a quick revisit of that and show you guys just how uh, to go about fixing that. Now, if you watch the last video, I'll put a card up uh, to the video that I'm talking about. I'll either put a card up to Aaron's channel too, or I'll link them down in the description below uh, for you guys to check out. But in the previous video, I showed the after, after I fixed the tool par, uh, path so the tool didn't drop into some of these areas. So what I'm talking about is if we go to this adaptive, you can see in the adaptive that the adaptive is trying to go into those holes where they uh, would probably be drilled from the backside, or maybe as a first operation, there's no real reason for it to go in there. And then on the parallel, uh, the tool is dropping into those holes. It's also coming down into these like little pockets in this big bore up there. So I showed you in the video that it's possible to be fixed in the last video, but I didn't show you how to fix it. So let's take a look and see how that's done. Let's start with the parallel first. I'm going to uh, edit this operation and uh, actually maybe I'll hit cancel here. If we take a quick look, I've got a bunch of bodies in here that are just surface patches. So you can see, let's just highlight some of these get one of the big main bodies so there's like a surface patch right there so you can see I've just got those areas sort of uh, skinned over and what I'm gonna do to get fusion onto those patches is we're gonna edit the operation and I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit and then now in the geometry tab let me expand this out so you can see the tab names on the geometry tab I'm gonna go to this tab uh, this little checkbox called model and turn that on and this wants me to also specify what I could consider to be model surfaces in Fusion. So what I'll do now is I'll just go ahead and start selecting um, these surfaces. Keep selecting. I don't want to, there's one in the center I don't want to grab, so I'm being a little slow. That's the one I don't want. I want that one, that one, and that one. So now all those surfaces are patched. Um, I can now hit OK. And Fusion will recalculate that toolpath, and you'll see that we've told that 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 surface that we created is a model surface and therefore the 3D toolpath isn't allowed to violate it. But if we go back and look at this adaptive, the adaptive is still going through it. Even if I were to go and regenerate that, um, it's still going to go through there. So another thing we could do with this is we could go to the main setup and edit this. And in the setup um, under model, we could also click on those same services that I created. So I could just click on those different uh, patch services. Um, maybe in this case, I only want the outside ones. I don't want it to do uh, the three center sections because I do want those to be roughed out. So I'm gonna select uh, those 10 patches and I'll hit okay. Now when I do that, the rest of the tool paths are gonna become dirty. So we're just gonna regenerate those by right clicking on our setup and saying that we would like to generate. This might take a second, so I might speed up the video here for this part just so we can get back and see the, the results of what we got going on. Okay, so now that that's calculated, if we come and look at our adaptive now, you can see that I didn't edit the operation to tell Fusion that it couldn't go into those services, but now it's recognizing those patch services over the top as being valid model services that it can't go through. So that's a couple different ways you can use patches uh, to make toolpaths do what you want. Um, sorry for the vast delay in this video. I completely forgot that I didn't finish the second part. Uh, hopefully you guys found that useful. And remember, if you have vid video ideas, uh, please go ahead and submit them. I'll leave my email address in the description below. Otherwise, you can email those to info at mechanicaladvantage.com. And I'd love to take your problems and see if we can make a uh, an easy fix for it and show it on YouTube. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys later.